In section two, we discussed the importance of thorough risk identification in a project. You were given an opportunity to use a brainstorming tool to generate a list of possible risks related to the Western Savannah case study. Risk identification is the first step to compile the risk register. We will be integrating your learning through building a risk register for the case study project over the remainder of the course. We will be exploring what a risk register contains and the type of information that you would need to include. The risk register, also known as the risk log, is a formal master document that records all your risk management work, such as identified risks, their likely consequence or impact, and any steps that need to be taken to respond to the risks. The most effective way to record and present risk register information is as a table, spreadsheet, or database. As a project or risk manager, you should view the risk register as the key management tool for you and your team to manage your project risks. The layout of the risk register typically follows the stages of the risk management process. For example, by doing the Section 2 activities, you started by clarifying your project objectives and then you identified the risk for your project using a pestle type template. Once you have this information, you can enter these risks in your risk register by describing the risk and assigning a pestle risk category. It's also advised that each risk is given a unique identification number so that the risk can be assigned and tracked throughout the project. The next component that needs to be added to the risk register is the analysis and the assessment that you will make in relation to each recorded risk. For example, environment risk number one. It is here where information on the likelihood, consequence and impact of each risk on the project needs to be recorded. We will be examining this in more detail a bit later. The remaining elements of the risk register will contain the information relating to your specific risk response to the assessed risks, together with a nomination of who has been assigned ownership and responsibility to manage that specific risk. When you are developing your risk register, bear in mind that it is not just about listing the identified risks and response actions. A well-designed and robust risk register serves as a core project management tool to actively and continually engage with risks with a view to improve the quality of overall risk management in your project. Let's now start creating our risk register by populating the initial sections in the next application activity.